What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you my working Lego Volcano. With the help of a special mechanism, I've simulated the complete cycle of an epic volcanic eruption. With flowing streams of molten lava and red hot rocks that shoot up into the sky beneath a gigantic volcanic ash cloud. This is a really fun and unique idea and I think I've managed to really capture the immense power and explosive energy of a real life volcano. This fiery mountain is located in the heart of a remote tropical island where I've included lots of secrets waiting to be discovered with details such as a tropical waterfall and ancient ruins hidden within the depths of the jungle. I haven't seen anything else like this in LEGO and that's why I've submitted this to LEGO Ideas. So if you'd like to see my volcano made into a real LEGO set then please support it on LEGO Ideas using the link in the description below. So let's get started and take a closer look at my working LEGO volcano. The volcano is built on a large semicircular base that provides panoramic views of the entire island which is decorated with rows of colourful palm trees and tropical plant life. All of these vibrant colours provide a great contrast to the black basalt rocks and this gave me the opportunity to use some more uncommon colours like bright light yellow for the golden sandy beaches and azure blue for the stretches of ocean surrounding them. The coastline is decorated with colourful patches of coral that extend above the water along with seaweed and shells that have been washed up on the shore. Over on the left I've built a small waterfall that flows down from the rocks and divides the beach with a small stream that leads out to sea. It looks like we're not the first people to discover this island judging by the tribal mask nearby. The river continues higher up into the jungle before disappearing into the shrubbery and this area actually disguises the motor that powers the volcano mechanism which is further concealed with a small cave around the back. The exotic plant life continues around all sides of the jungle and you can see how I've buried some of these plant pieces in the sand to make it seem like they're actually growing out of the ground. Over on the right we find more signs of the ancient civilization who used to inhabit the island and it looks like they've built a temple to protect their most sacred possessions. There's not much left of it now but if you're lucky you can still spot some precious green emeralds in between the ruins. Higher up in the canopy of the trees I've added a branch in between a couple of parrots which doubles as a switch to activate the volcano. As soon as you pull this lever the volcano springs into life and begins its chaotic eruption which can be stopped in an instant by pushing it in the other direction. To represent the eruption there are two main parts to the mechanism. The first is the molten lava which slowly oozes along the sides of the mountain as if it's spilling out from the top and the second is the explosive rocks that shoot up from the centre of the crater. These are actually Lego gem pieces that are bounced up and down by a fast moving platform almost like a giant trampoline. This idea was inspired by my working Lego waterfall although unlike my waterfall I wanted to make sure that everything was enclosed so I wouldn't have to deal with any loose pieces falling out. My solution was to create a container using these nice curved windows along with a brick built cloud of smoke that acts as a removable lid which makes it easy to refill with more gem pieces. I think this works really well to disguise the roof because you often get these kinds of clouds on real life volcanoes and it helps to make the whole container a lot less noticeable. The cloud itself is also quite an interesting construction and you can see how I've added a few loose puffs of smoke around the edges to give it a bit more of an ethereal, more airy appearance. 
I've used a combination of cloud pieces, curved plates, and satellite dishes to create the fluffy white texture, and I've extended this out on both sides to make it more of a 3D and lifelike shape. If we flip it around, you can see a bit more of the mechanism inside the core of the volcano, where you can see the Technic lift arm that pumps the platform up and down, almost as if it's squeezing the magma out of the ground. We can get an even better view of this if we lift the top of the volcano off of the base, which neatly separates the mechanism into two halves. With that out of the way, you can see it's actually quite a simple design. The motor is connected to a worm gear assembly, which splits the movement off in two directions, and the axle at the bottom is geared up to significantly increase the speed. This connects to a small crankshaft in the middle, which spins around super fast to pump the lift arm up and down. I've added some clear walls, so you can see this in action, since this platform would normally be supported by the volcano itself. It's a really simple but effective design, and I'm super happy with how it's turned out. The flowing lava uses a similar concept for its movement, although this is a bit more of a complex design. I wanted to ensure that the lava is spilling out from all directions, so this meant that I had to connect everything together using universal joints that carry the movement across 45 degree angles. If I remove one of these panels, you can see how the actual lava itself is on a long plate connected to a crankshaft, and this is secured at the back so it doesn't fall out. By alternating the position of each of these crankshafts, this creates a really natural movement that makes the lava gradually ooze up and down in a seemingly random direction. That's a really neat effect, and this whole top half simply slots on to the top of the worm gear assembly, so there's no need to even connect anything up. I think this working volcano would make a fantastic LEGO set, and if you agree, then please support it over on LEGO Ideas. All you have to do is click on the link in the description, sign in with your LEGO account, and click the support button to add your vote. If it gets to 10,000 supporters, then LEGO will consider making it into a real set. I'd love to know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time with even more awesome LEGO creations, and thanks for watching.